Hey guys, it's Robo Rob here, and a lot of people seem confused about the DC movies that are not placed in the DCEU, and I want to make this video explaining the non-DCEU movies for the people who don't quite understand it. So the one thing that you have to understand about these DC movies that are not in the DCEU is that they will be their own separate thing from the DCEU universe. If, say, Flashpoint happens in the DCEU and a lot of things change, this will not show any effect in these non-DCEU movies. If someone dies, say, a side character, hero, or villain, that character will still be used in the non-DCU movies and you won't see any ramifications or the people around them won't be shocked that they're still alive. The Quicksilver in the MCU and the Fox universe, they are two different Quicksilvers. When Quicksilver died in Age of Ultron, you still saw him in further movies in the Fox universe. Another thing you have to understand is that the stories that can be told. Now, if you don't read comics or don't have an understanding of them, I'll explain it for you. In comics, there are multiple versions of the same character. Some are separate stories that don't affect the mainline comics, and they're called Elseworlds stories. Elseworlds stories contain different versions of well-known characters and sometimes lesser-known characters of heroes and villains like Superman, Red Sun, and the popular Injustice storyline, and so on. It's the same thing with the movies. New stories and Elseworlds stories will be used for these movies, and they will appear in these non-DCU movies that won't affect the overarching story of the DCEU. So when you have movies like Justice League having an invasion with Steppenwolf, it won't be mentioned or have any ramifications on these non-DCEU movies. This means actions from characters like Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and villains like Jared Leto's Joker, and Doomsday and so on will not have any effect on these non-DCEU movies and nothing on their heroes or villains or just the whole universe in general. They will be their own thing. I hope this video gives you a better understanding of the DC Comics movies that are not in any way, shape, or form connected to the DCU and its overarching story. Tell me which character you would like to see in these non-DCU movies in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching my video and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below and check out some of my other content that I've recently done.